Hello, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Shirani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys doing today? Well, I hope that you are doing really well and that you are ready for another fun math lesson because I am ready to teach you. <laughs> All right, today we're going to be working on the number seven. We did the number six yesterday, so we'll work on seven today. And we'll have some fun along the way too, okay? If you have something to write with or write on, um, that would be great to use as we are going to be practicing writing the number seven. If you also have something to count with, you could use that too, or just follow along with me, all right? Okay, here we go. We'll start off with our fluency, quick fluency game today. We'll do our application problem, our concept development. Uh, we'll talk about what we learned, and then I'll show you your exit ticket. All right, here we go. Module one, lesson 19. Oops, <laughs> wrong share. Here we go. Okay, module one, lesson 19. So today we will count five to seven linking cubes in a linear configuration. Oh, that's fancy. That just means in a line. And we'll match them with the number seven, and we'll count one to seven and connect that to five group images. So we'll have a bunch of fun today. Okay, we're going to start off with this game. And before I play this five frame flash game with you, but today we have an extra row. We've been working on numbers one through five, and I would say we've mastered these now. That means we're so good at counting one through five. So we're going to level up and count groups of six today and even some groups of seven. So I'm going to show you these dots. And instead of just telling me how many dots you see, I want to talk about how many are in the first row and then how many are in the second row. So if I'm looking at this card, I see six dots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. But I want to say it like this. Five on top, one on the bottom. Five and one make six hidden partners of six. So we want you to see the combinations and the partners of these numbers as we are looking at the cards, okay? So let's do it like that. We only have a few of them. Five on top, then six. Five on top, one more on the bottom, five and one make six. There's a lot of different ways you can say it, huh? Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, blurt it out. Tell me what you see. All right, let's do it together. We can count like this. Five on top, then six, seven. Counting on. Five on top, then two on the bottom. Five and two make seven. Five, six, seven. Counting on. Five and two, seven. Lots of ways we can say it, and I like to tell you a lot of different ways so that you can um, make sense of what makes the most sense to you. All right, okay, I think we have one more. Oh, no, not one more. All right, let's jump right to our application problem. I love ice cream. Would anybody else say me too? This is the sign for me too. Me too. So let's count out five ice cream cones. Who we're having maybe a big ice cream party in our class. One, count with me. Two, three, four, five. I would love to look up all that ice cream. I love ice cream. I mean, I wonder what flavor ice cream this yellow one is. Maybe like lemon or banana. Maybe the, the green one is like mint. Maybe the pink one is like strawberry that's a good combination okay so let's make sure we have five remember it's always good to check your work one two three four five yep five now let's count one more five on top one more is six five and one makes six now we have six ice cream cones. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. That is so delicious. Okay, now here is our concept development. We have two rows of five. These are five groups. We have two five groups, so we have 10 total. How many cubes are in this tower? Count with me. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Now it's kind of a different way. Let's take the tower apart and put one cube in each of the circles. All right, I did it. I put one cube in each circle. How many cubes are on the map? Five. We just counted the tower of five. There's still five, even though we took it apart. There's still five. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, let's put a yellow cube down here on the first square of the bottom. Okay, what do you notice? Hmm, I notice that there are six cubes in all, and six is five and one more. Five and one more. Let's put another yellow cube on the map. Now I notice there's no more left. There's zero left. What do you notice now on the map? There is one row of five and one row of two. What number is five and two? Five and two. Seven. Five and two are hiding inside of seven. Five on top and two more is seven. Five, six, seven. Let's make a tower of seven now. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it's getting very tall, huh? Six, uh-oh, can you see it? Is my video in the way? Seven. Whoa, it is so tall. Okay, now if you have something to write with, you'll want to get it out. If not, we will just use our fingers and write in the air. So let's practice writing this number seven. The number seven is made up of a straight line and a diagonal line. So let's make it with our finger in the air. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how we make the number seven. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how we make the number seven. So let's practice drawing it now. Let's see, I'll use purple today. Across, across the sky, down from heaven. That's how we make the number seven. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how we make the number seven. Seven and heaven are rhyming words. That's why we say it like that, so it will help us remember. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how we make a number seven. One more time. Across the sky, straight line, down from heaven, diagonal line. That's how we make the number seven. Good one. If you wrote your number sevens on a piece of paper or whatever you wrote on, take a picture of it and send it to me or your teacher. We would love to see your number sevens. All right. Now we are going to, I think we're going to skip all that. Yeah, we're going to skip all that. And we are going to jump right to your exit ticket for the day. So let me show you that. You're going to look at these five frames and count how many dots are inside the five frames and then choose. And then here, you're going to fill in the missing number. So this is like beep number. Remember that game? We played it last uh, lesson, right? So fill in the missing number. Four, five, beep, seven. Fill it in. Now here we're counting down. Seven, six, five, four, beep, choose. All right, guys. Whoa. So we did some counting today. We counted um, hidden partners and we found how many hidden partners were in the number six. And then in the number seven, in the number six, we found five and one. In the number seven, we found five and two. Pretty cool. We will do some more work with this next time. And today we also wrote the number seven for the first time, which was exciting. So I will see you next lesson. I can't wait to see your exit ticket. Have a wonderful day. Bye.